Hi everyone and welcome to day 21 of the 21 day flexibility challenge. I cannot believe it is day 21. It has been an amazing couple weeks. I am so blessed to share this opportunity to stretch with you guys and to hopefully instill a new habit into your daily life because being flexible is exactly what it is. It's being flexible with your mind, with your body, giving yourself some love and some self-care so that you can benefit yourself and your life, moving healthy, feeling good, you know, just moving your body so that you can do the daily things that you do and feel so much better. Plus, if you play sports, you're going to feel so much uh, more ahead of your game. You'll excel at everything that you do even just the daily tasks. So please know that this is not just the end of a, a challenge. This is the beginning of a new habit that you will hopefully instill into your everyday. You know, I, I've been into the fitness industry for many, many years now, and I've worked with so many different types of clientele. And the bottom line, no matter if they're a professional athlete training to be the, the best at what they do, the fastest, the quickest, or if they're a senior trying to just get up and sit down out of a chair, every single person needs flexibility and it needs to start at a young age and continue on for the rest of your life. So just know that you will have days where you feel challenged and days that you're just like, oh my God, I'll do it later. Or you feel that, you know, stretching just doesn't do anything. But guess what? It does. It does a lot more than what you think. And it's something that you need to really consider adding it into your daily life. Even if you don't feel like, you know, you work out, it is a workout. It is hard. Your muscles need this conditioning. So I just want to express how important it is to keep your muscles limber, to elongate them, especially after, you know, sitting for long periods of time or doing tough workouts. It'll help repair your muscles and help you perform better the next time you do that activity. And it also prevents you from injury. So just know that whatever you do, it's just going to enhance your life and help you move better for the long run. So just know that when you're uncomfortable with something, you gotta get comfortable. So remember that and cheers to you all with my daily shot of liquid collagen. That's what I do as a routine to help my joints and my body. It also helps from the inside out repair your tissues. So if you need any information and you're interested in getting some joint support, especially if you have a lot of pain, let me know because it's a great product and I'd love to help you with it. So cheers to you all. Mm. I have to say, it tastes so good. It's antioxidants. So it's a lot of um, good flavor in my mouth. All right, so take off your shoes, grab your mat. We're just gonna do a total body stretch to kind of wrap it all in and make sure you have a wall. So we're gonna just do a few little stretches for your shoulders using the wall so that it reinforces what we've gone over over the past couple weeks. So let's go, timer's on. All right, we'll start out with your legs more than shoulder distance width apart. Toes forward, core is in tight. Bend your knees just a little bit, take those arms out to the side and just start to move your arms. So we'll go into some dynamic stretches. Dynamic meaning that we're moving through ranges of motion, reverse your circle just to facilitate some blood circulation and to get your body moving. And then we'll move into some muscle activation. Take your hands down to the wrist and flex your fingers up. And then we'll move into some static and passive stretches. So a little bit of everything tonight. And I know 10 minutes goes super fast, but we're gonna try to get a lot in and know that we can always repeat all of these stretches, all of these videos, all of these amazing things for your body so that you can get used to them more and more. All right, take the arms up and let's just go ahead and slide down, stretch up and over, exhale your breath, and then round your body forward and to the other side. Take a nice big stretch over, sweep the arm back, bend the elbow, straighten the elbow, sweep down and around, round your chin to your chest, come up and over to the other side, bend the elbow, cactus it back, and then round it all the way to the middle this time. Fingers face inward. Round your back like a cat. Shrug, shrug your shoulders forward. And then exhale as you elongate out. Round it in. Keep your knees soft. Exhale, lift your chin, your chest, and arch your back. Right from here, take one shoulder to the opposite knee. Exhale as you go to the other side. So don't underestimate your breath. 
That's what helps your body move and sink into the stretch and helps you release the tension. Exhale. Very nice. And let's go down a little deeper this time. Take your knees wider. Take your forearms inside the inner thighs. I want you to push the legs back. And you're just going to shift from heel to heel as you actively press your inner thighs back. Feeling that stretch. And then right from here, see if you can get a little lower. Keep those toes out. Push the knees back. And then take your hands to the floor. Turn your toes in, heels out. So you might even have to take a wider stance. And it's okay if your knees are bent. Just let your body fall forward. And then right from here, just walk your hands over to one side. So toes are forward or slightly rotated in. See if you can stretch down, hugging one arm to the back of your calf. So you're twisting through that torso. And then go ahead and bend the knee into a lateral stretch. Exhale as you straighten it back out. And let's go to the other side again. So right from here, the hand comes down or wherever you're at. If you have a block or a chair, you can always put it up there. That'll help raise the floor. Grab the same arm to your calf, twist into it. And then just kind of twist a little bit more into it. So just move your body into a different range of motion. Bend the knees, sit your hips back. Feel a little inner thigh groin stretch here. And let's go all the way back to the other side into a deep runner's lunge. This is one of my absolute favorite stretches I have to do every day. It just kind of opens up my hip flexor. It works through my calf muscle, through my hips. We're just rocking forward and back. So on the heel, on the toes. And then right from here, just drop down into it. I'm going to take both hands to the inside part. So it's hand, hand, and a knee. And right from here, I'm just rocking again forward and back. Now, if this is too much, you can always drop the back knee and just kind of shift forward and back. But remember, we want to get a little uncomfortable so that our body becomes comfortable. So now right from here, start to take it into a circle. So we can drop that back knee. So let's go ahead and drop it and just circle the leg that's in front, up and around, and let the knee go out to the side. So from a front view, the knee goes open and around. Now reverse that circle, big circle around. So I'm coming, rocking to the outside part of my foot and just kind of circling around and also getting my shoulders and my torso, my lower back. And let's just hold it down in there. So now drop as deep as you can into that stretch. Some of you might be able to drop to your forearms. If not, place your hands on something and raise the floor up. All right, we're going into that active muscle activation. So I want you to press your body back into a hamstring stretch, flex your foot. Now, as you do an activation, I want you to feel as if you're dragging the leg in and pushing it down into the floor to create resistance into your hamstring. When you exhale, just drop directly into it and see if you can go a little further, okay? So here we go. Push it down and in, contract that hamstring, squeeze your glute back there, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, holding, holding, holding. It almost feels like you're gonna drop down into the floor. Exhale, bend the knee, and sink into it a little bit further. Just relax into it, maybe rock from side to side, let your hip flexor release. Let's do it again one more time. Press it back, heel into floor, drive it in, pull it in tight, feeling that stretch, holding, holding, holding for five, four, Three, two, exhale, drop it in and stretch. Good, rocking it from side to side. And let's go ahead down to the outer thigh here, or inner thigh, sorry. Drop it down a little farther, out to the side and just move forward and back. And we'll do that activation again as if you're dragging the leg in. So one big movement here, ready? Pull it in, drag it in, feel your inner thighs contracting, feeling that stretch, holding for five, four, Three, two, exhale, slide into it a little further. See if you can drop back and relax the leg that's on the floor. So make sure your knees are supported. If you have extra cushioning, a mat, a towel, even a carpet. All right, carefully, let's bring your body back up. Slide that leg in carefully, shake it out. Let's go to the other side. So into a deep runner's lunge. You can lift up the back knee, forward and back, just rocking in through the heel and through the calf. And so just rocking it nice and easy. You can drop that knee again. Just shift forward and back. Take both hands inside and start to circle. Big circles around. So we're just going from one stretch to the other, connecting them all in. 
I know sometimes we think, oh, I don't have time to stretch. I don't have time for this, right? You do. You do. Just a few minutes. Reverse your circle. It will help your body just start to move. And plus, it'll keep you consistent. So even taking a couple deep breaths, that's stretching. You're moving your rib cage. So we make sure that you always do something every day. Something will lead into something more. And the littlest bit will give you a lot. All right, so let's hold this in here right here. Stretch your body back into your hamstring stretch. Flex your foot. Dig your heel down into the floor and drag it in. Ready? Contract that glute. Contract your hamstring. Let's go. Holding it there. Make sure your toes are all centered up. Holding, holding, holding for four. Three, two, exhale. Drop into it. Sink down. See if you can feel that stretch as you contracted it and now it releases down. Press the hips back. Toes are up. Drag and contract. Here we go. Holding it in. Holding, pressing, pressing, pressing. Come on, pull it in for three, two, exhale, sink down, and just move your body. Feel that stretch, feel it open. Exhale your breath, just relax into it. And now take it to the side for our half frog or half split, however you wanna say. So hands can either be up, they can be down, they can be out, depending on your flexibility. We're going to pull that leg in, contracting through the floor, and here we go, pull it in. Contract, holding, feeling that stretch, feeling that contraction, holding for five, four, three. Exhale, release, sink down. You can go lower. And again, that other leg, it's out at a 90 degree angle, pretty much. Just relaxing it down, no pressure in the knees. You're just feeling the stretch in through your groin. And the more that you do these muscle activation techniques, It'll help release the muscles so you're contracting and strengthening those joints. You're getting all that nice strength around the joints so that you can limber it up. Okay, so coming to your wall. Now you can stand or you can kneel. I'm gonna just kneel for now. So I'm gonna take my hand that's closest to the wall. And my outside leg is going to lunge forward. So again, you can do this standing. Take it back and I call these the high, high five because my thumb is sticking up. I'm gonna lunge forward. Stay close to the wall. You want to think about bringing your arm, your forearm closest so that it almost touches and then rotate out and over your knee. So I'm holding onto my knee to feel the contraction. And I want you to think about your shoulder. So you can drop your chin to your chest to feel a little stretch in through your neck. And then remember, you can always change the angle of your arm depending on where you put the hand on the wall is where you're going to feel the stretch. So you can do that same muscle activation where you're pressing the arm into the wall and then holding it for about five to 10 seconds and then dropping down into it and relaxing it. So we're just holding it right now. See if you can bend that arm into the cactus, get a little closer and then rotate away. So I'm gonna lean back and out so that I feel this in through my chest and in through the front of my shoulder. And again, you can change that angle. And I'm also pressing my knee out here so that I can feel a little bit of outer thigh stretch. I'm just multitasking because we have very little time left together right now. Let's take it all the way back slowly. Let that hand come off the wall and let's change sides. So again, I take my hand closest to the wall, high five it back, big lunge or big step forward, come close to the wall, forearm on the wall, so I'm pressing into it, so I'm dropping my leg into a lunge to feel my hip flexor of the back leg. And now I press my palm into the wall and rotate away. Ooh, you can always really feel this tightness. You know, so often we're on the computer or we're driving or we're texting or we're rounding forward. So we wanna make sure that we keep our posture in check by doing stretches that open up our hearts, our chests, our shoulders. So just holding this. I'm doing this kind of stretch inside of a doorway or you know anywhere really you can put your arm on something and high five it and twist away slowly release it regroup it Just move that shoulder a little bit cactus it out find a different angle of this stretch and again i'm going to drop down and look to the stretch a little bit more and then use my hand on my thigh to rotate in so you're trying to feel the stretch a little bit everywhere here. It's a total body movement. All right, slowly come off. And let's go ahead onto our back to end our little segment here. So carefully find yourself onto your back. So 
So bring your knees in, hug your knees in, slowly let your body roll back, and then just kind of move your body forward and back, hugging those knees, massaging the spine. So a little passive movement here, settle down into it, hug your knees into your chest, and this is always a really great stretch if you have any digestive issues or, you know, your stomach feels a little bloated or anything, you can hug those knees into the chest and it helps to massage your digestive system, helps to, you know, increase the circulation and massage your organs, roll your ankles, roll them the other way, wiggle your toes, and make sure that you're always working those hands and feet as well. All right, right from here, bring one knee in and slowly let the other leg come down. Just a quick little opener. So hold the knee, bring it out. So I'm locking my knee into the crease of, or my elbow into the crease of my knee. And you can hold it. Always use your body to help leverage your other body parts. It'll help you into the stretch. Now let's take that leg straight up and I'll just bend the leg so you can see you can modify here. If you have a little bit more flexibility, you can always keep that leg straight. That's really up to you. Pull that leg in, holding. Release it out. Let's do that one more time. Pull it in. See if you can straighten the leg again. Hold it, flex your foot, feel the different stretch behind your knee. And then change legs. Other leg comes up, flex your foot, feel that stretch. Think about really contracting your thighs so you can release the back. Oh, you can straighten that leg. Try to keep your hips square. Remember, if you have a towel or a strap, you can always use that to help you. Pull it in a little bit deeper. If you need to, bend the knee again. Keep that leg as straight as possible because if you train it to go straight, it's gonna go straight, right? If you train it with a little bend in it, you start to have this little bend, micro bend. So we wanna to try to really use the joints to the fullest range of the motion. So bend that knee in again, crease of the elbow goes into the knee, open it up to the side, back to the center, hug those knees in, take your hands to the back of your neck. And this is another little favorite stretch of mine because we carry a lot of tension in our neck. So you're gonna lift your head up, tuck your chin into your chest, elbows come in. And just hold your body there, so we're going to stretch in the back of the neck. And just take your shoulder or your chin to one shoulder. You're through the other side. Back to the center. And then release it out. Take one big stretch all the way out. Stretch your fingers, stretch your toes, wiggle them. And you guys can stay and enjoy a little bit more. Stretching, relaxing, and enjoying the calmness of your body. <laughs> but I just want to thank you guys so very much. We have made it to the 10 minute mark and pass some. And I know I keep you guys more than 10 minutes, but hey, we got there, you did it, and you can see how fast the time goes whenever you're just giving your body a little self-love and care. So I urge you to continue on the path, be patient, be consistent, because the more consistent you are, your habits will form and your body will just start to change and you'll see the benefits you will. So stick with it and so much love to you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this challenge and um, don't stop. It's just starting. Mm -hmm.